What's going on there folks? Earthmaster here checking in on this beautiful Monday evening, January 18, 2021, 7.07 p.m. West Coast time here in California. And you can see a pretty good signature of a strong quake there on the Chile station. This is coming off of a 6.4 magnitude quake that just struck down there around the Argentina region. <clears throat> you can see right here on this uh, flat scale model showing that 6.4. Right around, uh, what is that, Posito? Let's see if I pronounce that correctly the first time. Argentina, 6.4, a pretty strong earthquake there. This is kind of an area where we've seen that uh, other six pointer, oh, about a week or so ago. That was kind of a little bit more to the north, I believe. We'll check that out here in a minute. But anyway, a little bit of information on that 6.4. We struck it about 14 kilometers down below the surface. I don't know why they have a tsunami statement on there. But a 6.4, looks like quite a few folks uh, reported filling it. All the uh, pagers and whatnot look like they're in the green. Potentially yellow there for uh, um, in this category. Let's see here, I don't even know why that tsunami statement's on there. We'll check that real quick. 6.6, .6. these guys are showing a 6.6. .6. I am not for sure why there's even a statement about it. That's a little odd. <clears throat> Let's check that out real quick. Uh, so that's going to be... Uh, <clears throat> Let's check this the original one out. So based on all available data, obviously there is no tsunami threat. That is, it's just odd. It's well inland. Oh, about 100 miles or so or more. Alright. <clears throat> it is what it is. Sometimes they issue uh, tsunami statements when there shouldn't really be one and then sometimes it's vice versa the other way around 6.4 earthquake once again there folks <clears throat> as you can see uh, let's go ahead and go back uh, oh a little ways here in the uh, earthquake history uh, let's see here what am I doing one second here there we go get with the program so seven days, oh, that six pointer is not even really showing up there, I don't believe. We would have to go back uh, 30 days, significant earthquakes. Where did it go? I know it's on here. Okay, maybe it's right smack right there. That's that 6.1 that struck, uh, oh, about eight days ago. Pretty deep one. And that was well into the northern area. This red one, the red recent circle there, indicating that most recent 6.4 is a little bit south and a lot more shallower. Kind of getting around that subducting area down here. Going to have to watch out. There's been a couple uh, deeper quakes there in the region just to the, uh, looks like just to the west of this uh, 6.4 that struck. So getting some deep movement there at the subducting area of the Peru Chile Trench. All right, kind of some ducks in underneath this area here. So kind of watching it pretty closely, folks. We'll go ahead and do a uh, just a recap of update, uh, earthquake update here for this evening. I was going to do one a little bit later, but since that 6.4 just struck, uh, we'll go ahead and include that in this update here. Looking at the all magnitudes here on the USGS uh, model here. Not a whole lot of activity uptick there at Mount Hood. We've seen things actually calm down a little bit, right? Just kind of odd. You know, just all of a sudden, uh, comes up with a huge swarm, and then all of a sudden just dies down. Uh, so no new swarming activity to mention there at Mount Hood, but that doesn't mean it won't uh, kick back up again. I'm still keeping an eye on it. Activity in Southern Cal, kind of on the mellow side, not a whole lot to look at. If you're looking at the activity here in the Ridgecrest, that's pretty minimal. Activity along the San Jacinto Fault area that's very below background normal uh, background levels. You know, far as like any given day, uh, this is definitely well below what we would see normally <clears throat> on any given day there uh, in Southern California. Nevada looks about the same. Uh, not a whole lot to report out here along the West Coast. Far as the uh, Yellowstone National Park region had a couple small microquakes there. Right around the uh, Lake Yellowstone again, kind of similar to what we had last night, but no new swarming, no new uh, earthquake activity, and definitely no magma movement to report there at the supervolcano in Wyoming. 
Take a look at the, round, uh, the rest of the world here. Alaska's pretty quiet as well. This is the all magnitudes. Pacific Ring of Fire, very, 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 very quiet. So this 6.4 may trigger uh, some further activity up here in the north. We will have to watch this uh, region along the west coast. Things are kind of lighting up a little bit following that 6.4. <clears throat> Let's bring that 6.4 back in there. Uh, just a couple small microquakes there around Anza and Little Lake, California. But, uh, you know, like I say, things all it takes is a little chain of events to happen. And we could see um, some activity pick up and ramp up here along the west coast. Considering that the activity over here along the west is still relatively quiet. There's not a whole lot of movement over the last 24 hours. Just this little bitty quake off the uh, coast of Japan there, 4.7. Other than that, some small quakes down here along the uh, Samoa, Fiji Islands area. And, uh, so heads up you know I think uh, with this activity quieting quieting down and then uptick here in South America very high potential for renewed uptick in activity along the West Coast we'll have to keep an eye on that folks uh, what else we got Let's check the trimmer department since it's after yeah just after seven o'clock not a whole lot to report 18 epicenters of trimmer along the West Coast uh, roughly about the Oregon Washington border and the Oregon California border there along the Cascadia subduction zone pretty quiet but we'll see what happens all right folks we're out of here have a good night uh unless something else happens we'll chat you guys tomorrow sometime peace out